The best example is my friends. They don't feel comfortable to walk around school with their neck. Really? You don't feel comfortable walking around school wearing that terrorist shirt? Eli seems very sincere. Bro, you wear the IDF shirt at the Palestinian, uh, pro-Palestinian encampment specifically to be like the guys who are killing children out there in Israel. I defend them. That's it. That kid was harassing a professor at the encampment. He seems to be so scared, dude. Look at how scared he is. Guys, look at how scared this guy is. Oh my God. Look at how fucking scared he is, dude. I'm so, I'm so unsafe. I feel so unsafe in a just world. If we literally, if we truly lived in a just society, yes, those who do actually support the baby murderers would feel a sense of un, uh, would, would feel a sense of insecurity, a sense of shame at the, at the very most, but we do not live in such a just world. It's a genocide. This is a professor here at UCLA University. Yes, I am, and I'm What's talking about the truth. It's a genocide. What's your name? What's your problem? You clearly don't know the definition of a genocide. This I is, don't know. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is a professor. I don't know what the definition of a genocide they're fucking they're literally trying to start their kickstart their Hosbra media career, dude. It's awesome. Weren't you scared to give a speech to everyone but would harass chatters to get on webcam Lamau? Calling everyone who supports Israel now terrorists is now reverse, huh? Get a life, Lamau. People need to outrage on Israel because it gets their views back. Ha ha. 16 female California says, yeah, I was terrified of giving a speech. Not because I didn't want to fucking center the attention on myself and in a much broader movement, but because I'm terrified of speaking in public. As you guys famously know, I've never delivered speeches in public before. And I don't currently speak to 25,000 people every fucking day. Good one, chatter. 40 year old dude in IT. Oh, 100%. 100%. I, I mean, you don't do real praxis. You just enrich yourself. Oh, is this the new meta? They're saying, why didn't you give a speech? Are you scared? Is he wrong? Counter his argument. I just did. Is this what the DGG guys were able to come up with? That's, that's what y'all got. I mean, here the podium, there's plenty of fucking, there's plenty of speeches I've, I've given. You can go see for yourself, bitch. You don't do real praxis brother. What is real praxis to you? Also, you're not even a fucking, that's not a Palestine protest. What, can I ask you a real question? Seriously, by the way, I support Palestine. I just think people go far with Israel hate. No, you don't, shut the fuck up. If you did, you wouldn't be chirping in here. Okay, let me tell you something. Well, okay, we're done with this one. Is he wrong? Why don't you counter his argument? This guy says, what do you think praxis is? I know that you yourself have no real understanding of what praxis is, and you're just simply fucking, you're just simply chirping into the void. But what do you think, like, putting your money where your mouth is and actually attending a demonstration implies in this circumstance? What do you want me to do? Rise up in arms? You know, go go to Gaza? Is that praxis? No, praxis is when you fucking defend Israel unconditionally, get a bunch of media opportunities. Pizza is not praxis. Man, shut the fuck up, hegemonic world peace. Suck my dick. They had a message held back by Automod, by the way. Let's see what it. You support the murder. You support the murder of Jews. Hmm. Yeah. Countless Jewish students came up to me at the protests. And of course, I went there with my friend who's been staying with me, Alex, another anti Zionist Jew. But um, of course, I support the murder of Jews. You have no arguments. That's why you have to fucking lie to yourself and to others that will listen to you. It's much easier just to be like, no, no, you're anti-Semitic. It's because you can't defend the unjustifiable, the unjustifiable ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. So you have to just fling desperately. You have to, you have to swing and miss over and over again. It's not praxis. Straight up lying to themselves, sad. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a desperation. Oh, identity politics now? Because Jews are self-hating, you're not racist? Wait, what? Brother, you're the one who brought up that I want to murder Jews or something. Because, and now, wh what are you saying? You are literally being anti-Semitic in the process of thinking that you're defending Jewish people by being like, yeah, no, if a Jewish person says that Israel's actions have nothing to do with Judaism and that this kind of violence against the Palestinians should not be done in my name, that they're a bad Jew, that they're self-hating Jew, really? You fucking dog shit anti-Semite fuckbag. Suck my dick. That makes no sense. Yeah, it doesn't make, a lot doesn't make sense to you because you're fucking stupid.
Oh my God. Destiny fans are so fucking, they've gotten worse over the years with their arguments, partially as a consequence of the community becoming dumber and dumber with their rabid anti Hassan hatred. This is what I've been trying to fucking explain to people and they don't understand. If you are in your hug box all day, every day, constantly fermenting with hatred, you end up swinging and missing over and over again, okay? You were showcasing the UCLA encampment and they were liking this yesterday. Do Palestinian women count as polyamorous when their husbands continue to leave them for IDF missiles? It's just like, he's so edgy. He's so edgy, dude. He's, he's in defense of state-sponsored genocide. It's so edge. Perhaps this is the reason why the only people in his fucking orbit are those who desperately fucking cling on to a crumb of clout and attention that they will get from his psychopathic sycophant community and everyone he's ever loved has ended up leaving him two-time divorce champion go hang out with your son man what the fuck are you doing instead of defending the unjustifiable murder of other people's sons over and over again online with increasingly edgy sentiment Ooh, so 4chan Ooh, we're so pole Ooh, we're so edgy that's what happens when you're a fucking whole ass 40 year old with a literal fucking son who is it like at the age where they're like cognizant of your fucking insane behavior two-time divorce champion running around acting like you're a 14 year old in a fucking forum in 2010 one of your oldest Massive videos has you literally speaking the student protesters oh yeah fox news defends nazis freedom to protest but attack students oh yeah this is actually not even from 2018 I think this is even an older video that I re-uploaded in 2018. Yeah, I've been at this fucking game for quite a time, okay? For quite a while. Yeah. The way centrists now feel emboldened to say any level of violent anti-Semitic bullshit as long as the Jewish people they are attacking are uh, for ceasefire makes my stomach turn. Like, I was going to eat lunch and now I can't. Sickening. Can we donate to this cause anywhere? I am moved by all the solidarity. I will donate money for the thousands of gallons of kerosene for these brave protesters. Did you see Destiny say the N-word? What, every day? He's too busy saying the N-word on his new podcast to spend time with the kids? No shot. No, 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 Dan. Wait, reading off the... I already did... There's Notice only one that's Dan up isn't the talking to his microphone at all. Even though Dan's talking at the same time as me, you can't even hear him because he's talking away from his microphone like a fucking you you, They can hear me. They but... can't hear you, Dan, because you're not even talking into the microphone. Okay. If you do that one more time, I'm going to say the N-word. Is it actually on your channel or his channel? <laughs> it's my channel. <laughs> What's up? What up? No! I'm alive! I even... Wait, the guy said that about me 50 times. I can say that. And I use the A. It's fine. Yeah, that's right, Dan. Don't be careful. That's all right. Yeah, you're going well, down if you don't. If you're not careful. I don't care. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Well. Well. Okay. So sick, man. Ooh, so edgy. Oh, so much edge, bro. So much edge. I don't know how that works. Oh, God, can we deal with all that edge? Oh, God, I'm about to cut myself on that edge. Ooh, so edgy. Mission accomplished. Soldier return to base. Yeah. Obviously, nobody gives a shit. For the record. You know what I mean? Like none of the none of the LSF guys who have uh of course spent countless hours talking about the term worm in Spanish, gusano being like the worst slur, or the term cracker. Like this dude straight up ripped a fucking N-word on LSF. He's got 500 upvotes, 64% upvoted. Every most people are just memeing about it. Okay. Remember when I called someone a cracker bitch and they petitioned Twitch to ban me for seven days? This exact same. Here, let me show you. I and mean, there's also countless hours of him fucking. He uses the M word with the hard R all the time too. He's just like he's a big, he's big time advocate for free speech. That's why. Remember the same LSF. Let's see. I, I do want to look at the 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 way that Hassan defends his use of sl racial slurs and calls out destiny. 2.9k upvotes, 2.7k comments, even that, five months ago, I don't know where the OG one is, I don't know where the, the OG uh, thread is on LSF, that one banged, I mean, obviously, that, that made the rounds, dude, just want to say this guy's a very sick, evil piece of shit, spreading a sociopathic and genocidal type of victim, mocking humor that will bring America to an extremely dark place if it catches on, wish the absolute worst for him, it's so funny that this community, his community, who has never, a community that is like cultivated around literally being able to say slurs, can so quickly and easily intercept and infiltrate dumbass fucking progressives 
rad libs in general to be like see this guy is ableist see this guy is doing a fucking uh this guy is doing a bad thing and everyone and and whip up people yeah two of house and obby's chat mods get suspended from twitch for calling a person in master the bad c word look at that 2687 comments i mean now uh, upvotes 88 percent upvoted two years ago the reason why the reason why i'm explaining this is because a lot of stuff can very easily be manipulated on reddit and these guys know that and they do it all the time dudes who say the n-word can fucking run around and, and get people run around and get people banned for saying cracker, okay? And genuinely act like they are ashamed. They're like very sad. They're very upset. It was the funniest thing that they had to like keep saying the C word instead of cracker for the longest time. And everyone would be like, which C word are you talking about? There's at least eight others before we get to, you know, the, the white one. What is this? It's funny that- Red? men that are given access to child have a higher chance of not actually committing um, actions in real life and i would argue that that would be a moral good that if you can prevent people from acting on those urges that's something that should be explored and again like some of it i guess sounds uncomfortable to some people but, like if you're being real like a 21 year old 22 year old like there's a 15 16 year old chicks that like look pretty fucking hot like i can't i can't help that like some people mature fuck <sighs> gross did you know this i mean i've seen him defend uh the ethics of cp and also lowering the age of consent before but not this specific clip maybe you wouldn't be on live stream fail if you weren't so unhinged you are almost as unhinged as the top of the air break okay well i'll i'll give you that one you already wrote it out and i didn't even see it a little bit of a weak one but stormy echoes destiny is cool you're a hypocrite you talk about all the poor people in palestine and socialism but you really you literally are inside of a hundred dollar hundred million dollar mansion the top comment on that one, Miserable Snow, is the top Hassan hate thread poster on that Reddit. Oh, I didn't. I like that you guys know the, the individual freaks by username. Why is your position always CP adjacent? All of my haters, it's a rule that never fails. If someone is incredibly obsessed with taking me down, almost always at a certain point in their career or in the future, they will defend some form of ethical cp and also uh lowering the age of consent that's just how it works i don't know why this is the case but it always happens to be that there are people who want to lower the age of consent that end up hating me and making it their lives mission to quote unquote take me down your lives mission however should be the avoidance of the top of the hour ad break like that chowder got me this i had not seen this clip before but here's a three minute ad break now I don't know if, if I don't know what the exact context of this clip is, but I have heard him talk about lowering the age of consent before. But yeah, very edgy. You still think he's redeemable? No. Once someone literally, once someone makes money being this way, it's very hard to shake them from this position because one, they personally like it. And two, it gives them social capital. It gives them clout. It gives them money. Like this is his career. His career is being this guy. Speaking of edgy, your co-host. Nice. What the fuck is this from? I think for whatever reason, these mercenaries also always go towards pedo shit because it draws a lot of clicks positively and negatively. Well, I mean, I guess this is like spiritually fucked up though like having this kind of attitude it's not healthy it's not a healthy attitude to have of course obviously uh he also spends a shit ton of time finding like whatever random hammer and sickle accounts he can that basically do the role reversal of this against israel like hamas rockets and whatever like whenever whenever some random fucking hammer and sickle account online says like may allah guide you know iranian missiles or whatever he'll make like a three hour video about how violent these uh defenders of islam are you know what i mean but of course he benefits from israel being the good guys in the in the at least state department assessment gross stuff overall can we go back to not talking about him he's a fucking lunatic who thrives off drama he does these tweets for drama and so people like you scold him for it no um part of the reason why i uh do show some of this stuff is because he he is going on a shit ton of podcasts he's becoming more of like a 
a, a recognizable name. And when he's uh, when he's a recognizable name, people and people only see the fucking like highlights. People only see like his, I guess, like seemingly reasonable defense of Israel's genocide. He has the capacity to inform people in the wrong direction. And I think they should see the broad swath of of all things uh, divorcelli related. I mean, this is what he has done over and over again in a way that is like totally clipped out of context. And I think it's not bad to show new fans of his what he actually believes. It's not about him in general, but it's more so about like new fans, you know, getting a broader understanding of all of the things that he advocates for. There's no one that defends Hassan and this freak has had the benefit of uh, Hassan ignoring it for four years. Hassan's allowed to punch back. I mean, yeah, his fans literally have the, some of the best media literacy out there. From the river to the sea implies everything from the Jordan uh, to the Mediterranean to be a single Palestinian state. Hamas is the administrator to Gaza, currently enjoys the widest support of any single political entity. Keep protesting louder. Hamas just made a statement and they're standing with us. What the fuck is this? Why are you guys showing me this? I don't even... It's a, is this, this your man wake up for his freaks? Yeah, there's definitely people who won't fall into the rabbit hole. I'm pretty sure when they see this kind of stuff and go, maybe his understanding of the matter is like maybe motivated by his incredible, virulent, uh, anti-Muslim positions. Do you understand? I almost fell into the D rabbit hole two years ago because I wanted a creator with long essays that I can put in the background and he seemed reasonable in the beginning. But a few days in, I realized how much of a lunatic he is and got a huge ache from him. It's very easy for a good person with good views to fall for him if they're not paying enough attention. Yeah. He's done the same thing for you for years. It was so nice of him. I'm glad you're doing the same for him now. Be generous uh, with your coverage of his sick shit. To be fair, when he did my coverage, it wasn't actually sick shit either. It would literally be like a thing that I don't believe that he espouses as though it's my main belief. And if there's no counter to that from anyone that I have orbiting around my fucking sphere of influence, because I don't have the fucking diehard sick freaks that he does that will do like a 45 minute documentary on YouTube to be like, this is why Hassan and Destiny broke up or whatever, and just like massage the narrative in his favor for years and years and years, you arrive at a lot of people who are just completely misinformed about what I believe and think that he is a good guy in general. I had a friend bring him up not long ago saying he makes good points and I brought up the manifesto and BLM statements. She said, let me look into that. Came back five minutes later with you, fuck that guy. When I talk about destiny, all I need to do is show the things that he believes and the things that he says. When he talks about me, he has to lie and be like, I am sex trafficking in brothels. That's the difference. You understand?